too. like pre setup or, or anything. Yeah, we don't talk about shit. We just get into yeah. it, you know. That's cool. So, dude, so you want to introduce yourselves so that people know who you are? I'm uh, Mackie Main. I'm Stinky Pete. <laughs> yes, sir. Word. So we're. Well, then I'm Hilton Davis. Yeah, I'm Cody Kroll. Yeah, ugly as shit, Cody. <laughs> hey, <laughs> fuck you, Hill. <laughs> I don't know. Y'all look pretty good in them shirts. Word, I'm not dude, gonna hey, lie. Dude, I'm not gonna go. lie. Look, okay. So right. Previously, I wanted the he yellow. Then I put the blue on, and I said, "Fuck that yellow shirt." The fucking the, the eye. script is hard, dude. Yes, straight. Yeah. And dude, I don't, have you seen your your sleeve before you yes, rolled it? I did. That's fine. You covered up the product. Well, I, what's going on? Not a roll. big deal. I had to roll. Sorry. You don't roll on script sleeves. I do. <laughs> no, I do. I know. Fucking I'm up. not even gonna worry about it next time. Then well, I'll just give him straight. But that's why I do, put that though. shit on his collar next time. Dude, put on the collar, bro. That that would be, you just make it like a Fendi or like a Gucci one that just has just the collar the, print. That'd be tough. Yeah, that'd be yeah. tough. I, I roll the collar. <laughs> yeah, like, he just I starts start rolling, rolling everything that has the product. You're like, how do you even wear that shirt? Yeah, you might be the first person to ever roll a collar. I've never seen a collar roll. Y'all can take You that. gotta set the trend. Okay. You can't follow it. You gotta set it. That's, yeah. you, know, you, you ain't lying. So, I mean, I'm that's not good. gonna lie. I like the yellow more, too. Yeah. But that's why I gave that, the like, the, the black be and white. considered a folded collar? Yeah, but it's pre folded. It's oh. predetermined on that. That's true. It's setting the that's, trend for you. Yeah, but it's a, it's an extra long rig folded, right? Long rig. Yeah. So, it's like, does that but even it, count? But it's designed it's to made? be folded. Yeah, so it doesn't even really count as a fold. Yeah, no. Because it doesn't, yeah. No, I'm not a turtleneck guy, so I have no idea. Yeah, you I don't. Should have worn your your Stinky Pete shirt if you had a yellow one, because I almost wore the blue one. I actually don't own any of those shirts. Really? Yeah, I just make them and sell them. I, I right. maybe have one, but it's like extra small. Oh no, you had just that, have that it. bright yellow one. Then you gave it to me though. Don't have it anymore. There I don't have go. shit. Nope. Gone. <laughs> yeah, I do so, got this though. Shout out to Garden Street. This shit's tough. Yeah, yeah I mean oh, it's yeah. it's big, bold, and it's there. It's yep. a Christian band too. Which I think is mad right. ironic. What's it say? Righteous invasion. Righteous invasion of truth. Word. Yeah, some, well, it's some girl or something. I don't know. I thought it was tough. She's like, I, got I don't it. know. Mm -hmm. She's, She's like, I miss up. Riot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How's it going? I could Riot. So you're about to drop an album. Yeah, on the 12th. Word. So is this your first official album? No. Nah. The, the previous ones? Okay. Well, I mean, I don't, what do you mean by official? I mean, because some people will drop like mixtapes and EPs and they won't consider them albums. Like, what to you is an indication that it is itself an album versus an EP or, like, a mixtape? The meaning behind it. Word. Like, the, the, I guess the message, like, with the EP or, like, a mixtape or something is kind of, I feel like a mixtape's kind of just, it's, like, a basis of an idea that you kind of want to get across. And it's just, like, but then the LP's just kind of stuff you throw together. But an album, you, like, put a lot of work into, a lot of time, and you put, you yeah. know, you got promotion, like, interviews podcasts shows all that that type of stuff yeah. so Word. there's like a lead up to it and there's yeah a lot of thought behind like a it. good rollout and this yeah. is the first time that i've ever done it like i got a release party coming the day after it comes out and then like i got a video that's gonna drop when it comes out like a bunch of stuff that i've never done before i yeah. would say that this is my first official album but i feel like i've put like a good album out or two yeah. already i just never put the effort in to do anything like crazy like i this. mean when you did this one wasn't yeah. it three songs it was like five or six, yeah. Okay. But that that one in particular is it's I miss my dead friends because I have a lot of friends that have passed, and yeah. then within the my the most recent one was his name was Jeff, and uh, like from the time that I found out he had passed to his funeral, like I wasn't gonna do I was just gonna like wait till the funeral to like you know unleash those emotions. But I w they were so strong that within that week, I like made all of that music so fast. And I was like, I, I dropped it. I left the funeral and dropped it that night. And then I made those shirts like a week later and they just went crazy. Like I'm st like four, three projects after that. And that's the, those are the only shirts that I sell anymore. So you, you, you did five songs, you said? Five yeah, or like six five songs or six, in a week? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah I, I, think, remember, I remember going over there to where we were recording because I got two songs on there, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got two songs on there. And... We had done those songs like a while ago compared to the ones he had already put on there or the new ones that he was putting on there. Yeah. And then I came over like the next day or something and then he had like the whole thing done. <laughs> he was showing me it and I was like, damn. damn. There was like maybe one song that was pre made, but Jeff had actually just started making music and he had a verse on this song and then Mackie was on it too. And oh, it was Lord. like, it was so weird. Like he had the way he went on it, it was like he was like kind of predicting what he was like going through and what was going to happen. Yeah. And then I, so like I, uh, excuse me I, he like 
I don't know. It was it was just like we, I had like made him end his own album in a way after he had passed. It was like it was so, so weird. Was this considered to be his only track then? He has a couple tracks out that he put out on his own, okay. but like this, I mean, officially he never got him on like platforms like Spotify and stuff. So that was the first time he had actually gotten onto like oh, a damn. big thing, and it was I know that's got to mean a lot. It, yeah, and it, it's probably got to mean a lot for the shirts to be riding so hard. Still. Oh yeah, look, I still like the top three songs of mine, like Apple Music and stuff, are still from that album. Like yeah. it, it, it's he touched a lot of people, so those songs mean a lot to a lot of other people too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. So. so do you think that one's gonna kind of go down? in history oh, for, for sure. you is the one that kind of hits the hardest for sure yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Damn. just yeah. like I, on a personal note you yeah. know yeah. so because i had all the other like friends and stuff they weren't really into music so it's just like i'd make a little like tribute to them mm. and that just was kind of it but jeff had just started and he always told me like i was his biggest inspiration and i always recorded with him and all that stuff so when he passed and i had that it was just like fate. i just knew what i had to see do. that was gonna be my yeah. next question was did you get him into it but it seems like that was like he had always wanted to do it, to it, but then he met me and it was like, it was so weird the way that it kind of is now because like when I first started, there was like people in the area, like, I don't know if you guys know uh, Bishop, uh, Bishop Morris, still Bishop. Mm -hmm. He, he was in Milton and he was like, like low key, he was like the only white dude in the area. At, like whenever I was coming up, that was rapping. It was like actually doing stuff. People knew who he was for yeah. that. And then I always looked up to him and I was like, I want to, I want to get to that. And then, like, because you're inspiring me, you're inspiring all these people. And then, like, it just, like, one day Jeff told me the same thing. And I was uh, like, like. Now you've hit that level. Yeah, like, now I've hit that yeah. level. And it's, it was so weird. And then he just was so, so hundred. Like, whenever I was down and not, like, out about it, Jeff wasn't. Like, he was like, yeah. no, bro, we're still doing this. And so you got to have those types of people. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. why I still got him in 40. I was telling him the other day that, like, I don't think. I mean, you might now, but, like, I was trying to tell him that he impacts so many people around him. Like, I can list, like, I can't even count on my fingers how many people that this dude's put on to, like, actually putting their foot into making music, yeah. like, professionally. It's crazy. He and, got me into doing it. And there's no limit on, like, how many people can do it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So it's like, why not try it? Even if you find out, like, it's not your thing, why not try it? Because mm -hmm. pe some people, like, maybe... Like, Jeff never did it, right? Mm -hmm. Maybe he never touched foot in. He'll always look back and be like, man, I could have did that music thing. Exactly. I just never yeah. tried it. it. All you got to do is put your heart to it. If you yeah. got the, the 100%, like, because, I mean, when I started making music, I was not, I didn't look like it. I didn't sound like it. I wasn't the person, but I had the heart. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. then the same thing with him. Like, we weren't rappers. We weren't any of this. Like, even even Gavin over there, like, I, he started to make music now because he's just surrounded yeah, by all these, song, all three of us. like, creative Suck. people and, like... Word. It's just, it's weird, but it, it's a good feeling. It, it, it's just like really surreal sometimes yeah. to like think yeah. about that type of stuff. To have you know? that many people that are like, yeah, dude, you put me on or you're the one who like, like, just, inspired me to do it. And you're like, bro, I'm just, I just go to work. Me. Like I just, yeah. Yeah. I'm a he human well, being. Did but you that just... goes to show like how well you show like, all right, this is what I love to do. And this is why I'm doing it. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, so I, I get what you're saying. How it's like, yeah, it's surreal, but like take that. I don't know. It's hard to it's hard to explain, but like, Get don't take that for granted. It. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But like, respect it because, like, dude, you're putting in your work. Like, this is what this is what you're doing. This is what you love to do. And people are like trying to tell you, like, yeah, man, like you're the one who got me into it. You know, like, like don't brush that off. Oh like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's a you know. It's like low key what I've always wanted to do, and now that I'm doing it. I don't think about it like that. Yeah. Like yeah. I I yeah. I dis uh I don't disassociate even, with it. Like I kind of like disprove the fact that we. Mm -hmm. just as a group in general like we everyone in the city does really cool shit and i don't know if any everybody knows that like this this is cool as shit like you guys have an actual podcast going on like Word. you guys got the yeah. mic and the setup like this is cool as shit you know what i'm yeah. saying you guys might do this every day might not think about it like that yeah. like you guys got something like we do cool shit all the time as a just as a community mm -hmm. and like i don't think anybody really realizes how yeah. like tight this shit is yeah. <laughs> like really well, dude and that's the thing that i think like we've noticed or it, especially i've noticed within the last like year of us doing this is like having more local people on and guests on it's like dude we have so much going on here yeah, we yeah. really do we have yeah. so many people here that are doing shit in pensacola and it's like i don't know why i never noticed it before maybe i wasn't as you know in just in with the community yeah. as i am now but dude seeing how many just lo whether it be you know artists or you know rappers or whatever like just 
everybody dude it, there's so much going on it's here. not it's yeah. so cool to see too it's, and we're not like pensacola is not really that big of a like it's a big place but it's not that big of a no. place not atlanta yeah, and it's not yeah. like yeah. new york or nothing so it's so weird to see such a small place come with so much yeah. more talent yeah. so and much creativity from one place it's so I nuts. TikTok, uh, i think yesterday it was like the underground scene in miami it was like one show or whatever and they had like so many people there and it was like that could be here. Like, yeah, yeah. Some if like people that will be here. I mean, yeah. eventually we're getting you, there. You gotta live yeah. with a yet mentality, and I've said this before, but I don't know if I've said it on the podcast. Like I teach jujitsu. Well, did. Um, <laughs> ouch. Uh, <laughs> but like, why you say that? Just some things recently okay. have changed. Okay. You know, get into it. <laughs> um, but uh, so like, whenever my students would be like, "Well, I can't do that. You can do that, but I can't do that." yet Mm -hmm. yeah you can't do that yet it can't happen today or it can't happen right this second maybe it can happen five minutes from now when you understand the move better or like maybe one like maybe that show can't happen here yet Mm -hmm. but maybe it can happen early next year or late this year or like two months from now Mm -hmm. maybe it takes a moment a spark of flame like some sort of momentum Mm -hmm. and people are like pensacola is a spot shit like yeah yeah it just takes a well, that yet seen, mentality. You've seen, like, we've seen it too. The amount of underground shows and local shows that have been happening in the last, like, six months. Crazy. Have been insane. Yeah. It's the show crazy. we just did with, uh, that T-Bear put on was, like, that's, like, the most packed show that I've seen at, like, a small, uh, easy going, like, that I've personally been to and, yeah. and performed at. Like, that shit was pretty thick. Like, it was a lot of people there, a lot there of people showing love. And I yeah. was just like, yeah. yo. That, that place is putting on for local, Dude, I local love it. artists, man. I love it. Straight up. Any show that has a food truck is, like. <laughs> yeah. yeah they did have a food truck yeah. and it was, it was so it, you, know, you know what it's like it's like Pensacola is just now figuring it out they're just starting to put the puzzle pieces together to it. yeah. and it's like combining certain genres together like food truck show or like oh, well, a sense. gallery with different style artists not just like art not yeah. just oh yeah country music not just rap not just like yep. you know like interactive art like there's all sorts of things and it'll bring different crowds and then that'll be like well this is a hub for it mm-hmm and yeah, then it'll it, open space for yeah and then they'll whatever. be like well the next event they have maybe it'll be something else i'll be interested yeah. in yeah mm-hmm. or then, boom, maybe you're not even interested in it but because you've been to that place before you're such a good yeah. energy you know, you're like, good place. Fuck, i'll yeah. go to a yeah. show that i've never you know what i'm saying yeah. like i yeah like that's how i mean shit that's how you get into new new stuff you know yeah. like i mean shit what, what when was the mary widow show last year because we've only been like We've like, been together as a, a yeah, like we like a year ago. We're barely a, a year in being serious about it. We've been together as a group, me, him, and Forty for like maybe two to three years, and it was just like over the internet. Like we all know each other personally, but it wasn't to the serious point to where we're like doing shows and actually putting our name out there. And it's only mm-hmm. a year, and now we're getting, you know, what I'm saying like whether it's me or him or both of us, all three of us, like we're getting into that point to where, like, again, like I don't think about that shit. Like it's so. Sp- small in my brain but it's so big in reality like yeah now what was the moment when that happened like when you were just like whoa i can feel this shit now like it feels different than it was when we threw the we threw a halloween festival last year maybe like four or five months after we like we actually started performing Mm -hmm. because like we have a lot of friends that like fuck with us and like do that and then to see them always come out always support us it was like a really good like motivating feeling and we threw a halloween festival and it was like dummy thick like we had so much shit going on and it was like it started at like noon <laughs> it, it was all day and it just people in and out just do like people that i would have never ever expected to sh- come see like something that we put together you yeah. know mm-hmm. and it was like that was probably the moment where i was like yo we could we could actually probably like at least give it a push yeah, you know what i'm saying favorite, that was one of my favorite shows just at, just at an event in general like that i love i loved it maybe maybe because we put it on i'm just saying but maybe just a little bit but it was yeah. a really cool organizing everything seeing it all play Dude. out and seeing everyone have such a good time we had customized beer pong balls oh with our logos so on them hard oh, that's it. It's so hard Custom yeah do, there's something about too like putting on your own event like you know making an event happen and then like it going successfully it hits different dude oh yeah it if, really does if it would have tanked because it's from the ground up yeah, it's not yeah. like oh well that's gonna happen again 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 yeah mm-hmm. it's like we had to make that shit yeah you put oh, in all yeah. the work to do it and it's like it makes it it makes it so actually much better. we me and gavin over here we we met in colorado because i i used to do like a lot of seasonal work and we mm-hmm. met in colorado and i was in colorado i had planned it but then i ended up leaving 
and then like we flew down here specifically for that like festival and then another show so for me to like fly back and have everything go so well and then just me like f like i got on the plane with like the biggest like just head like i'm not even gonna lie like i was like yo we did that shit we could yeah. do it again so easily like yeah. yeah you walk on the plane you get onto first class and they're like sir this isn't your shit like but i just do it <laughs> but what like, you talking you about you know who I am? you didn't you weren't there yeah. Yeah, i mean you saw it on the local you know, news right? you know i am right <laughs> yeah we just probably like x that yeah. shit bro what are y'all talking yeah. about you like you don't pee the shirt yeah right you didn't recognize me from that come on yeah that's hard Dope shit know what and they're like what yeah <laughs> So what what made you feel like now is the time for the album? Like what were, have you been sitting on some of these songs that oh, you were man. like, oh, or like what precedes um a feeling of like now has got to be the time for an album? This one in particular, there's this artist that I've been following for a little bit named Big Baby Gucci, and I had got a feature from him, and it was they just had like he has such a crazy sound, and I was like when I got the the song back. I was like so concerned. I was like, there's no way I'm going to be able to fit this. But eventually, like I just sat on it for a little bit and I made it happen and it sounded so good. And I was like, this is such a different sound that I've ever done that I've ever really heard before. Yeah. So like I was like, all right, well, I wanted to just put it out and just be like, yeah, look, that's something different. But I was like, what if I just like made a whole something different? So then like it's such a he whenever I got the feature, I also got the beat. And so I go on YouTube or whatever, like, cause you know, I go back and forth from like YouTube and like my friend producers, you know, whatever I'm feeling. And I went on YouTube and I was just like, yo, big baby Gucci. And I started finding all these beats and I, they, it was the same sound. So I was like, yo, I could do it. So I just started making all these sounds, all these songs that like sound so crazy. And it turns out the dude that produced that big baby Gucci song produced every song that I had made with that sound. So I was just like, that it was just like a sign to me yeah. i was like it has yeah. to be so like the whole album is produced by the same guy he's like from oh i hope he doesn't hate me like amsterdam or just, like he's foreign so yeah. like he's he just is like that guy that you keep showing me hmm? he's our life. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. it's that guy but he makes beats oh, that'd be hilarious no. oh wait well hold on he's he's a super he's fan of like, this one guy Sh Sri what's, what's his name his name's <laughs> sandaru sathsara but he's this dude that does covers of like american songs but, but like super popular oh, songs from like so the 90s good. dude they're good <laughs> yes dude, yes yeah, pull it up. it's so it's my favorite thing of all time and what i'll do is because i know he hates it so I'll, dude, it's fucking I'll get terrible a song. music but hey, so this you, dude puts his have heart you guys in ever it. heard the titanic song the, the one that they play when the yeah the like my heart will go on you know i think so okay so this is his version of it and he's yeah, from, he completely redoes bit. the entire song He just, literally, dude. I think I've heard. It's my name. favorite shit of all time, and it cracks <laughs> me up. And so what I'll do is I'll send him to him with just with it with for nothing, right? No or at least be like, no oh, just like found a new banger, and then send it to him, and then he'll <laughs> f he'll fuck with me and do the, you know, when you text somebody that doesn't have a number or whatever, and I'll say like, this person can't be reached oh, at this yeah. time oh, or whatever. Yeah. Or like he'll you have... copy and paste that message and send it to me, and I'm like, <laughs> this user no longer you. exists. Yeah, he got it in I'm his like, notes. He's just ready every time. Again, I'll just keep sending it. He yeah. got it. I mean, you, he's got and then he'll text me a say regular something. message, and I'll be like, "Yo, what's up, dude?" Yeah, <laughs> uh, like, it's, a fun, even... it's a fun game. We like to play, yeah. but yeah, man, Sandra. That's is, your Sondra beat maker. <laughs> yeah, Clearly. yeah. He yeah. he goes crazy, and and yeah. so I just kind of that was just it. It was just kind of like a sign. I was just like, I w I just wanted to make something different because. I don't never notice it either that I every time I make music it's just how I'm feeling and then it always set, ends up sounding different like I look back on it like a year later and I'm like damn I don't even know how I'm, like we were listening to songs from like five years ago and I was like dude I I wish I could do that right now like For that's man. crazy oh God. Yeah. Crazy. That's that is hard uh, shout out to FML dude that shit's crazy Word. but uh but yeah so I don't know mm. just I just felt I, it was just a feeling yeah and when you started like making music is this like what you envisioned you would be like or did you initially start out like yo i'm gonna do like more rock and roll style or i'm gonna do more like a certain genre of style of rap or making music and then you were like yo i'm actually pretty good at this sort of i was like really inspired by like suicide boys and stuff yeah. when i first started and i, I like mean, a lot of yeah like i was like yeah, super so like good. emo so i was like that was the kind of vibe i was going for you listen to ghost main at all i used to a lot ghost i haven't slaps. yeah ghost he's hard. hard bro it, and he's a fucking like, problem did you see his it's uh a it's problem. a fucking problem <laughs> he is so good dude i think it was his rolling loud of 2020 
20 or maybe it was like Lollapalooza. I can't remember, but it was a fucking massive stage and he has like a hype man, like a dude that's fucking ripped as shit, like huge guy. And he comes out with a gun and it's like, like just shoots fucking smoke or air, I guess. Mm -hmm. But it does the breakdowns to, he's like, Oh, he's got to like shit. sink. That's tough. Dude, it is okay. so fucking dope. I remember being at home at our, our apartment. It had to be during COVID. Like right after COVID happened mm. because it was like only live on YouTube. Oh, yeah. Like unless you had a ticket there, I but it was like, that it was so, I, I, could, I could remember the whole set. Like it's so vivid. That's yeah. that's the point I want to get to is like being yeah. able to not only perform, but put on a show. Like Kendrick, have y'all seen Kendrick's? tour he's on right now i didn't see the no but i, I, I just, heard about it my homie just went and saw him in new orleans and he was like bro it was the he most has animation and shit to it now dude he has a, I guess a, a ventriloquist dummy he disappears like literally just disappears on stage they got a glass box they got people in suits to have a whole have you what have you seen him or have you just like watched no i just saw, i started to watch it on youtube but i okay. i okay. want i to hate i hate to be this guy but dude like saban's gonna love what i'm about to say my I feel like Kanye, Kanye is so influential in all this. Oh, for sure. Because he is yeah. like, for release parties, nobody ever did something like he did starting it. Like, he'll rent out like the fucking, what is the Mercedes Dome and do like, Oh, yeah, like with Donda and shit. Party. Yeah. For a listening. Dude brought his, like, actual childhood home into dude. the thing. Like, that shit dude, was yeah, nuts. I can't even oh, buy a home, bro. let alone <laughs> buy a home <laughs> to throw in a building. In Mercedes <laughs> Stadium. Yeah. Like, put it somewhere else. Dude. Yeah. Like, what? Dude had everybody that anybody, right anybody that's everybody yeah, was dude. there. That, like, But I did just have a couple homies go and see him in New Orleans last weekend, and they were like, dude, the show was nuts. insane. Yeah, I it's can't even, crazy. I can't even imagine. Like, I... You know, I haven't gotten to see a lot of like I've had a, seen a lot of really cool live shows. I th I saw Alicia Keys. Okay, this can sound what? Alicia Keys in Madison Square Garden when I was like a young. Oh, he was, he was crying when he was there live. Seeing oh, she walked down and said, "Cried, like, fell but out." It's like fucking, well, back up. But I tell you three what, songs though, in. only three. A live show at MSG, bro. It hits. So you actually fucking, went to MSG? Yeah. I was in New York and saw Alicia Keys, dude. It was the and they played. Oh Empire shit! State Not in the, That's why <laughs> Jay Z came out. Yup. It was. Oh, the they most, had to do it. I they did the cool thing. Knowing you. Yeah. Oh yeah, they it did the thing. It was the most insane. Show. I feel and cool like, knowing you. It's like I, you know, it wasn't like I wasn't like a huge Alicia Keys fan at the time. But it was a good show. But, I mean, but he's in the fan. stage. He's in the stage. This girl. Dude, I'm <laughs> hey, I don't blame him. That shit's hard, bro. You know, just seeing that. Was like I still think it still can remember the show, oh, you know, yeah. because it. So Dude, like the, there's the certain people that do things in music, or have a certain style, or just literally anything, and you'll hear it or see it, and you'll just be like you can't. Mm. Yeah, you can't help but just like you just get that face, ugly dude. face where you're like fucking dude, it damn, is, dude, yeah, like that. Like they're yeah, just like literally, like they have. And I'm just in. like, there's something <laughs> some prolific happen. about so, that. Oh yeah, happen. this is oh, iconic. Shit. Like this is amazing. Look, like what are they? What? God, dude, it's like, how do you even crazy. think of this? Like Look what? What, this, what is the, the like, thing? The centerpiece too, the drapery and everything. That's yeah. insane. Like dude. what is about to happen? You're about to do this at Easy Going next week. Right? <laughs> 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 that would be kind of people hard. show up and the building's literally on fire, but that's part of the plan. Yeah, like it's not burning to the ground; it's just on fire as part out, of the yeah. graphic design or like yeah. the image. And the like, That'd be I mean, doors. I just saw the TikTok because I only watched a, a piece of this because I like I want to go see it, even though I probably won't in person. Yeah. But I want to have that so hard, you know, experience. And he literally like somewhat in this he walks on stage he has a ventriloquist dummy and he's like like rapping like with his ventriloquist dummy his ventriloquist dummy's like looking the opposite way and rapping with him and he just disappears like a hologram like they just shut it off Whoa. and i was like what but the, the ventriloquist actual... stays there like the no like himself? like everything oh. like he's just gone i was like dude that'd be crazy if like the just just, just the dummy was still there and he's like <laughs> 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 just kept going crazy oh, man and I, I think Baby Keem also plays a very big and Baby Keem is really it's good. so hard. So fucking hard. To be so young. Yeah. And you know he's like yeah. been in the game for a minute. Like yeah, he's yeah, been yeah. producing. Like, yeah, yeah, something yeah, like that. He's like he's us, Mac. <laughs> what are we doing? Dude, it's crazy to think like you're that like you're getting that good of an introduction into music so young. Like because you don't even fully understand who like your cousins or your uncles are, maybe. You know, like mm -hmm. Like Ice Cube's son, did he did he get the grasp of how popular his dad was in music and movies? Yeah, and now he's doing the same. I, th I think just movies. movies. Yeah, but like, did he fully Wars understand series. like what the fuck Friday was? 
or like yeah. or how he just watched it NWA like was, did, yeah. nwa did you understand what all that was yeah. he was just like oh that's my dad but yeah. like do you understand you like do. how iconic I, that I is i don't think you can <laughs> you did it, bro. i don't think <laughs> yeah. you can when you're that close yeah that's true that's crazy like that's a good point we're yeah. out of it and it affects us because it's like it's part of our culture and like our upbringing and our generation like but I don't think you like. You have to be outside the bubble yeah. to see how big the bubble is. Type yeah, thing. exactly. I yeah. feel like it might be a little different if it's Ken- well. I don't. I guess not. That's kind of the point you're making. Because yeah, yeah. like, I feel like he did. Because Ice he, Cube he, he in his day, it. maybe wasn't as big as like what Kendrick is considered now. Crazy. <laughs> you see that? That's that crazy. shit's nuts. Oh but, my goodness! But like with the dummy, I that's what like. Can you I imagine like Kanye's kids? They're born into unbelievable wealth. Start, yeah. So they're probably not going to understand the grasp of like Coming they just think they lights. are the shit. They don't yeah. know that they're the shit because of yeah. dad did a crazy thing until Mom, they're like twenty five or it's too late or some shit. You know. You know, she did some <laughs> <thing. laughs> stuff. <laughs> Mom did quite a few things actually. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but dad's hard. Do you want to start the first one? Probably not. Well, but uh, not. so yeah, there was this guy Ray J. Uh, <laughs> so. He hit it first. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> not gonna lie, they're Damn, not dude, friends. Dude, did but... y'all ever listen to Ray J? Hell no, I didn't. Really? No, I'm Damn, sorry. I the only thing I know about Ray J is the unbreakable glasses thing. So dude, that <laughs> shit is hilarious. Oh my goodness, I'm sorry. You never seen? <laughs> you haven't seen it? It's Bro, it's worth. So. It's worth. Bro, he's literally on like the Breakfast Club, the and he's like, "These it? are my new products. I got new glasses. It's They're unbreakable." That. And he gives it to somebody, and he just. It's the people from the fucking what? Uh, academics and Joe Budden and oh, two other no. dudes used to have a show, and then one of those they guys from me. that sat down with Ray J. Fuck that shit was so. Ray fun. J. Glasses break. Yes, yes. The, the, the fucking video. Okay, they're gonna have a. This is the one. Can I watch <laughs> it a lot? Oh I watch it. I a love lot. this show. Listen. Oh, Speedy, that's Speedy. Unbreakable. Hold on. Unbreakable. Uh, t- already. Break them. Dude, this is hilarious. I love it. They're unbreakable. Effortlessly, watch. Listen, don't challenge me, Ray. They're unbreakable. Listen, Speedy, they're unbreakable. They cannot break. It's impossible. Mm. Nope. Watch. <laughs> watch. I don't care. <laughs> That's the only the only care. thing that I I can. Uh, that shit is think it's fucking so good. hilarious, dude. Like Ray J's just a meme to me. Not gonna dude, lie, he's so fucking funny. Dude. Name one Ray J song. One four yeah. three, dog. Oh fuck. He's I like, don't know. Oh, you one. It first. I, that's like one of the <laughs> is that only ones. Oh shit. Yeah, dude. Fucking. Uh, <laughs> first, Vince Staples. Hard. Have you ever seen any of his interviews about Ray J? Mm-mm. Bro. Anything Vince Staples says is twitter worthy he is Dude, so watch, funny watch his I interview him. i think it's on uh it's on ebro in the morning i think it's that one and he's like they start talking shit about ray j and he's like it's him and tyler the creator and he's like mm-hmm. <laughs> he, goes, uh-uh. <laughs> he goes you don't fuck with ray j and he just goes into this bit like Ray J's in the Illuminati and like he's like untouchable and like he he starts careers and he can end your career. Oh, where? Oh, I feel like I have seen that. Yeah, actually. yeah, dude. And it makes like Vince Stables has a way about the way he talks that makes it feel like it's absolute fact information. Yeah, he, that just he just not, didn't know about yet. He's confident about it. Or he's, he's so like, so confident. Yeah, and it's stone on he's it. like, oh yeah. You he's know, like, you, you know, know, didn't know that. You didn't yeah. know you could speed, and yeah. you're like. What? And he's like, yeah, you can <laughs> speed, dude. And you're, you're like, like, 100 miles an hour. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> dude, it's fucking wild. Uh, Vince, Vince is hard. Vince Stables is, like, I remember when Earl came out, and then, like, there he was, was... putting on for Vince. Like, he was like, yo, Vince, Vince, get out, rap me any day. And I was like, dude, no way. yeah, and there was, like, a behind-the-scenes, like, mini-doc. It was, like, a seven-minute video or something. It was Earl and Vince walking down the street, and then we were talking back and forth mm-hmm. about music. And I was like, who the fuck is this Vince guy? Yeah. Because Earl I remember is legendary. When you were that I remember when you were heavy into Vince Staples. That was like Dude, yes. Zoomies days whenever he yeah, was yeah, fucking, yeah. when that shit was coming out. We used to both work at Zoomies. Like, yeah. So at Zoomies, you can play your own music. 
A word? As long as like, it was clean. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Which it was never clean. You, yeah, it's no. so hard to find clean. Especially music. with like Earl and Vince in that yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> was, area. Yeah, we and we would play like Look at Me did, way yeah. too loud and like people would be like <laughs> very upset. What, what did she say? Yeah. What did it? What, we used to get in time? trouble by, okay, so we, before we'd open, like we'd get there an hour before opening or whatever, right? To like cash tally and all that stuff, make sure the store looked good. We'd fucking just bang music early, right? Yeah. And before anybody even got into the mall, there's just like security guards kind of walking around. Yeah, or the mall lights are off. Just yeah. your lights it's are on. It's just us, yeah, in the in the store. And we're just cranking shit up. We'd gotten in trouble so many fucking times. Like noise like just the security guards being like, hey, turn man. it down. Yeah, y'all are going crazy right now. Chill Dude, out. we were yeah, cause it's like here. 8 in the morning. We're yeah. like, fuck it. If we're going to do yeah. it, let's do it. We're about to right. deal with these fucking idiots. <laughs> yeah, we got eight hours. This is bullshit. Yeah, let's so let me get out. some of this out. But, dude, we would put on like, like if we were there, we would put on like your music or like yeah. friends of ours music. Mm-hmm. So yeah. it's like, dude, you should check them out. Yeah. But, you know, we're out of that world. Speaking out of, of that world. Speaking of Illuminati, like you were talking about with Ray J, do yes, you think Kendrick's at that, at the Illuminati level? I think Kendrick is not in the Illuminati, and I don't think he ever will be. I he's think too he humble. Is just you think he's at that level, guy. though? Yeah, he's just that he dude. He's just Illuminati that motherfucker. Like, untouchable? Well, oh, like, no, what's no, your, he is untouchable. What's but... your definition of the Illuminati? Like, what's your idea of the Illuminati? Are you inviting us in? We'll, we'll, we'll be I'm in just it. curious. We're not above. You got a business Illuminati. card? I'm yeah, just yeah, curious. Yeah, yeah. It's just we, like hey, a password or something? Hey, I, what's going on? What are we going to do? Yeah. I'm just, <laughs> hey, <laughs> this is, is there a group chat? I don't know. Add us. What's up? <laughs> just, we got a big backyard. We can figure something out. Big backyard. I think the Illuminati is like. It's fun to talk about. I do believe there's got to be something, but I don't think it's as like cool as we think it is controversial and yeah shit like that. i think it is like a group of people like that kind of make or break certain companies so they'll be like yeah like if somebody didn't like somebody that was on the up and coming i don't think you can break people like drake kanye kendrick too, cole yeah. they're too big already right because there's too many people that are for that person but if you have somebody coming up like say if they didn't like your music they'd You'd be deleted. I don't know how that happens, but yeah. your shit just wouldn't exist anywhere. You wouldn't be able to get on Spotify, Apple, YouTube, nothing. Okay. You would just be blackballed. Shadow Do you think that's what happened? Yeah, to yeah like shut. Yeah. Huh? Do you think that's what happened to Hunter Moore? Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> 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 that. Do you know hit. who Hunter Moore is? I don't. Do you know what is anyone up is? Is anyone up? Is anyone up? dot com was like a, a website back in the day. It was like a revenge, a revenge porn, porn website. Porn oh, website. I heard so, about like, that. So like you would just send your exes nudes and like yeah. He would like tag their social media. Yeah. Oh. So it was and just all a this site shit. of just fucking just dudes. Naked people. Foul shit. Yeah. Originally it started out as like a band thing. So like he was part of like Vans Warp Tour and those types of scene. Like so hardcore bands and shit. And it'd be like dudes dicks and like girls they hooked up with videos and shit like that. And they would post. And then it became mainstream. Like it got popular That's, as fuck. Yeah. And now he's nowhere to be. Yeah, that, that no. Do you know like who Anonymous is? Yeah. They... Deleted him. Oh, Anonymous is in the Illuminati for sure, dude. See, I think they're the opposite of the Illuminati. Oh. Mm. I think they have the same power, though. Yeah, no, no, exactly. I think it's like... It's it's like a superhero movie. It's like the fucking Avengers versus Thanos. It's like that type of power Mm. dynamic. But they're like, that's cool. You got that shit going on? Dude, imagine if there was a secret war of, like, the Illuminati versus Anonymous mm-hmm. going on, and we just didn't know about it. Oh, we wouldn't know about oh, it. Oh, yeah. You would. Yeah, exactly. We wouldn't. But then all yeah. of a sudden, Netflix doesn't exist, and you're like, <laughs> what happened? You don't remember Netflix? And they're like, it never existed. And yeah, you're, like, you're the only one who remembers are you guys, Netflix. Are you guys, are you saying that, like, they're behind Mandel- the Mandela effect right now? Oh. <laughs> My ears just, like, got super clear when you said that. I was yeah, like, because oh, that, that makes too much sense. Wait a minute. I'm just saying. Dude. You shouldn't have said that. You shouldn't <laughs> oh, have said shit. that. No, dude. Hey, yo. Because there's some real, <laughs> hey, yo. There's some hey, real shit going some on there. If motherfuckers start stop knocking on the door, all right? If we start getting people coming to the house... I'm, I'm Mac is, Maine. <laughs> I'm Mac. Do you, so, do you, since you know about the Mandela you. effect, do you know where the name came from? What's that? The Mandela effect. Oh, from... Uh, Nelson, Nelson Mandela. Nelson Mandela. Yeah, like, he was supposed to. He died, died in, prison in prison or some yeah. shit, and then but he, he got out. Didn't. Yeah, like what? Yeah, like that shit really happened. And like, what? Y'all know about the CERN thing going on? I don't want to be that. The uh, like you lift? No, like in like serums? like a <laughs> like a month ago. You they, don't know about serums? serums? This is a different one. I'm so what confused. Are you talking about? Like you know, like steroids, but then there's also SARMs. Same thing. 
No, nope. it's a pronunciation. Nope. Anyway. <laughs> Continue. <laughs> CERN is like, uh, like a couple of months ago, like they went in the news that they were like trying to create. They were doing like particle accelerator type shit. Okay. This is a company. It was like I don't know what it was. I just okay. saw it, and then everyone was like super worried. And this then, is five minute oil change down the street. <laughs> what? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> and then like that. Apparently, they were like trying to create mini black holes or some shit. I don't understand yeah. it. All no, that's been going on for a long time. This. But what is serums? CERN is like the name of the project that they did. And then right after that, people started going on Twitter and just talking about all this shit that changed. Like Chick-fil-A didn't have this in the name yeah. or some shit. But then they had all these pictures. Like all the signs are changed. Like it never happened. So they're saying there's a connection between that and all the Well, changes. they're saying that it's like it kind of caused it. That's But you know how the internet is. So Oh, uh, you mean like a maybe a, a glitch in like the... The Matrix type The shit. Matrix or reality yeah. and something changed and they're like... Something different. Everyone yeah. was already ready for it. So when shit started changing, they were like, uh-uh, nope, not this time. You ain't getting me now. Yeah. So, yeah. I, like, uh, I drink Hypnotic a lot, and it okay. still gets me, like, I swear on my life, Hypnotic, the bottle had a Y in it, bro. And I swear, like, everything. It's just H-Y-P? And it's, it's just yeah, H-P? but it's just yeah. HP. Like, I have, I have Wait, a video. What? Like, I have, Wait a pic- I swear to God, I have a picture no, no, no. from, like. Show us this picture. So I'm, H-Y-P. It was H-Y-P. That's, that's what, what I'm saying. Right? No, it's not. It would never no, was. You're talking about the fucking blue. The blue, bottle. The blue bottle. Yes. Like, Bro, I made a. drink that. Ba- that was our fucking shit. I even <laughs> made a song about it, and I typed it, because I didn't, like, that was right when I started drinking it, so I typed it right off the bottle, and, and there's a Y in it. doesn't have a Y no, in it? No, like, there's no Y in it, bro. You know what else will fuck with you like that? Febreze. Oh, is there only one E in that? Or one Z or something? It's like an S, no Z. Where's his S? Pause. Nah, There's some crazy <laughs> shit like that. <laughs> said, hold on, hold maybe, on, pause. Maybe, it's not that, is but it when a you instead of an E or hey, something. Hey man, I just said maybe it's not that. All right, all right, all right. I don't know. Right, right. Where's this? Look at this. Look, this is the picture right here. No Y, bro. This is right before CERN happened. R- right before CERN happened. There's no Y in that shit. And I, it got me. I was like, this is my picture. Like I didn't fake this. Like yeah. this is true. So it does have a Y in it. No, There's no Y. But I swear that it did. Like I swear I went yeah, so I many times. I remember there being a, a swear. Y in, in, in hypnotic. I even asked the dude at the liquor store. I was like, "Yo, how long you worked here?" He's like, "I don't know, like four years." And I was like, "This ever had a Y?" And he's like, "Nope, not that I recall." And I was like, Cap. "He goes, you're talking Cap. about the H podic, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <The> H podic. <laughs> Why yeah. would it be called that? <laughs> well, that makes no sense. Yeah. So what yeah, that hell? that type of shit. Yeah, uh, there was a Chick Fil A one too. See, see the my my problem with the mandela effect thing because it's only logos that it's ever like that name another th- type the thing. berenstain bears yeah but that's a logo oh, oh type i see thing. i see i see like is there like a well where's that one guy from that show he was in that show that whole time there's not a thing like that oh like, shit the thing, though, is if they have the power if they have the power to like just fucking wipe somebody off okay don't you think they have the power for all the people who know them to forget about it it's true like yep, yeah, this is what y'all remember. Y'all yeah, wrong. they don't fucking. There's nothing to see, remember. I can't Man, argue much. that because yeah. see, they, I but get there's it. No way. Yeah, you wouldn't know. But why isn't there more than just logos? Because it was we, just Mandela. We remember and that. Then, yeah, that's true. See, I guess I though know. the Mandela thing is the only that one gets actual me. event that happened that I remember. Maybe there are others, I'm but I just Google don't know. just Mandela. Events. Oh shit! Oh, <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> it's gonna be like him just fucking yeah getting tipsy in high school and shit, and you're like he's well. he's holding a bottle of hypnotic. <laughs> <laughs> that was me. That's crazy, dude. Mandela yeah, effects. I don't know, dude. It's forty. But uh, to answer your question, no, I don't think he's in the Illuminati, but I do think he's untouchable like that. Like his reach is just iconic now. He's like, just, especially now after the, his last shit. album dropped, oh, there's yeah. no touching him. Like, if you ever had a doubt of who the, like, top people are, if if your top people, I'm not saying, like, personally, but if you don't consider the top people like Kendrick Cole and Drake, who are your top people? I don't even like Drake as yeah, a you person. you don't have to like these people, but he but is so literally the artist of the decade, like, yeah, last decade. So, absolutely. like, you can't. You can't compete with that shit. There's only one E in the end of Febreze. Yeah, I was looking at that too. Febreze. (laughs) That one got me. It was spelled like Breeze, like B R E E. Yeah. Yeah, I thought, you see, that's what I thought. It's like, it's gotta be Breeze. Like that. It's like Febreze now. Febreze. Febreze. (laughs) Febreze. That shit for gay. That for gay. That shit for brazy. What if I what if I turn this around on y'all? What what made y'all start making podcasts, huh? Mm. What made us, dude? Damn. Like where was that? Where was that start? Head. No, I'm just no? Um, we were over at a buddy Kitty's house, right? And 
we have silly conversations all the time, like this fucking Illuminati shit. <laughs> um, we like to goof around. Yeah. We're silly geese, right? We're a good we'll, time shit. We'll be fucking... We'll get to the point where there's no air in the room. Where we're dying on the ground laughing. Like, no noise is being yeah. made. We're laughing so hard. We're just like... <laughs> like, you've seen the clip of the two dudes at the... They're at a table, and they're just laughing so hard that they're, they're just like... literally dying. Yeah. <laughs> Knee slappers. And nothing's going yeah. on. It, like, we'd have conversations like that, and I'm like, dude, it'd be funny if this was recorded. We were at our buddy Kitty's house, and he is, like, a videographer and photographer. He graduated from FSU, and he does, like, TLC shows now. Oh, but word? at the time, he was in town, and he had the equipment with him, so he put his phone up, or his uh, camera up, and then he put, like, a road mic thing that looks like a phone, but it had, like, four mics on it, and he just sat in the middle of the table, and we recorded an episode. And then... He goes out of town for way too long at a time, like sometimes six months or more. And it's like, cool, we can't have a podcast like that. Can't do like Every one or six two months. Episodes, yeah. Yeah, yeah, a year. Yeah. So I was like, well, we'll start it. And then when you're in town, you can be on it and we'll just go continue on like that. And it kind of became just us mm-hmm. because he's just so it's hit like, or miss. Yeah, and when he's in town, busy. he just wants to lay low because he's married and he has a. Uh, pretty brand new baby it's like yeah, a year or brand new baby yeah. um, <laughs> i like that term it's pretty he just got it like last it's last year used. i he mean still he paid made it off yeah. he, he made, made it that <laughs> <laughs> shit is his you yeah. know that? no doubt it. about it it was named crafted <laughs> but uh it's not at least baby it's, him it's not at least his. it's a it's yeah, not a rental it's set in stone yeah yeah for sure set in stone but yeah so then we then we decided to start you know doing it ourselves and so this is like what like 156? It's going to be the one. F- yeah. 156. Uh, well, this will be 157. 156 was the one that the you all just, knocked on. Yeah. yeah. Just did? Yeah. Okay. So, but what? yeah, it started in the kitchen. That's where we started doing them in the kitchen with like shitty microphones and like soundproof shit all uh, over the place. You can see it has yeah. our ingrown, our yeah. ingrown, our in-ground, t- our inside swimming pool. Back yeah. There. Oh, but, word. Um, That's tough. Yeah. That's a one-person pool. It's yeah. really for salt baths and like ice baths. Yeah. So you just dip and sit in ice it's for a, yeah. it's a flex. and recover. That's what it is. It's a flex. It's a flex, <laughs> dude. We keep it up we there so we can pull it down. We have a portable indoor pool, so fucks with us. Yeah. Flex. When the girls come over, we bring the pool out. Yeah, you, you know feel how me? One at a time. One at a time, lady. Maybe two. Ten minute time limit. You got to get out. You've been in there for ten minutes. Yeah. Come on. I got a towel. Yeah. <laughs> but that's how it started, man. It's, and I think whenever we start, like whenever we first started working together, like I don't know if you guys have heard the story, but we hated each other when we first started working together. Yeah, we were like, I was like, other. fuck that guy, you know. And uh, and then we it was kinda, appearance based. Yeah, uh-huh. I uh, well, he was already working at Zoomies. Yeah, and I I got hired on as his boss as a hire. Yeah, so he <laughs> walks in. I'm on the computer doing paperwork, and he walks, and the computer is set up towards the front of the store, and I see him walking. I was like, I'm gonna have to be selling to these idiots. And it turns out he's walking right towards me, and I'm like, he's going to ask me a dumb question. He works here. And then he's like, what's up, dude? Yeah. And I was like, why is he back here? <laughs> <laughs> he's yeah, like, I walk behind the cash rack. He's like, who the fuck is this guy? Who yeah, and fuck? he had this hair, but a little stupider. Yeah. So I was like, already not on board. Yeah. And then he didn't like me because, you know, fucking these guys have an image thing. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking the idiots. Going yeah, on. idiots. Right? Dummy. And we both thought, fuck boy, right yeah, off rip. And I was also pissed, I think, because he got hired on as an assistant manager. And I was just like, fuck this dude. Yeah, what a what dick. In my last job. I was just like, fuck like, this place. I was just like, fuck <laughs> this yeah. Give me the manager job, but you're going to hire someone brand new. Yeah. yeah. It's just fuck. And now, now, in hindsight, I was only there for like two weeks before he got hired on. So it wasn't even. And I didn't know <laughs> that. I thought he had but been like, there for years. So like, I was like, I'm stepping on this dude's toes, but fuck that dude's toes. Yeah. <laughs> fuck but his toes. I was, just, but I was like, yeah, fuck this guy, right? Yeah. And then, uh, and then yeah, we start, we kind of bonded over the whole com- like stand up comedy thing, yeah, and like podcasts and stuff like that, like Tom Segura and you know Joe Rogan and yeah. fuck know, with Pete, all those pe- Pete Davidson, yeah, hell yeah. yeah, yeah, he's good. His his special. Who's the other Pete? The fucking dude that had to show Stinky Pete. That's a good guy. Too. <laughs> Does he he's do like, stand up? He's like just plug. <laughs> that means if you just stand, stand up, up between. If he drinks enough, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, y'all should see him perform sometimes. He'd be he'd be funny. <laughs> Not Pete Davidson, but fucking the dude that does crashing. Crashing. I don't know. He it's the HBO show about him doing stand up comedy in New York and he's starting up. Oh, it's fucking something Pete. Or Pete something. Fuck, I know what you're talking about. Because you like him a lot. I'm, and I'm like not you're not talking about Chad, are you? 
Chad nope. Daniel? No, no, no. You and your brother used to like it a long time ago. Like, y'all showed me shit from him. He would do, like, YouTube videos. Fuck. Pete Dominic, bro. Pete no. Holmes? Pete, Pete Holmes. Holmes. Yeah, he was a, yeah, he was like a super Christian wow. guy. We're no, idiots. I can't they knew I, it and we didn't. I, I Googled it, bro. Don't, oh, no, okay, don't play okay. me. Right. No. Yeah. <laughs> they just run through every Pete name yeah. and we're like. I was, I was on that list. But, yeah. but, yeah, that's how we bonded was, like, comedy shit in the store. Like, he we would like, say oh. something. Yeah. And I was like, hold on. Only somebody that knows stand-up comedy would know yeah. that. Right? <laughs> like, he'd do a bit. And I'm like, whoa. Oh, That'd be shit. like if you said a lyric from, like, a Suicide Boy song and, and somebody was like, said the next lyric, and you're like, oh, shit, okay. Hold on. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What? <laughs> Relationship started. Yeah. Like, yeah. instantly, I looked at him a little different. I was like, oh, hold on. Kind of tight. Yeah. Yeah, something's different with this. Yeah, hold on, <laughs> this hold cool. on. I don't know what it is. I judge him a little I too like harsh. This guy. What? How did our relationship start, bro? Chemistry that was gonna be class. my next. We were in chemistry. Class? Oh, I used to go to. I used to go to. <laughs> he goes. We were in chemistry. <laughs> That's. I forget all of high school, bro. It's like it was a bad time. But he, he used to get me high as shit. We we would skip chemistry class, and he lived right by the high school. We would just Ooh. walk there, and he would just get me fucked. I think that is an absolute. Um. Like a requirement of somebody that lives close to a school. Oh, you gotta, yeah, you gotta skip Every and go. Every school I've ever gone to, so, it, the kid that lived closest to the school always did that. Oh, yeah. That, it's like a requirement of like you signing the lease. It's like, yeah. okay, but also your kids gotta smoke weed with all the kids. Yeah. And they gotta go right after class. They gotta be the one that everybody goes to. You pick like, the class, houses. I don't care, but y'all gotta go on shifts. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> shifts. <laughs> yeah, like fucking You're on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Yeah. Y'all are good. See, when I went to Escambia, there was a trail across from Escambia into the woods, and then there was like a big like set of logs, and people would just sit in there and get high. Mm -hmm. Damn. Yeah, yeah. Robert still, you could just go across the street. To oh y'all fucking y'all yeah, are we, in Robertson. We graduated yeah. from. Uh, I graduated. Did you graduate? Yeah, I graduated. Okay, yeah, we graduated right. from you graduated Robertson. Like I graduated a year early. Actually, I was like, I had just turned seventeen when I graduated high school. Damn. Yeah. So my life went mad downhill after that. <laughs> it was bad. Yeah. You should not give someone that young. My mom told me because my mom didn't graduate. Mm -hmm. So when she she told me she was like, as long as you graduate high school, you can do whatever the fuck you want. You're a grown man. But I was like, I was barely 17. I was still 16 yeah. in my head. So I graduated and she like, let me move out and do all this shit. It's probably not the best idea. Yeah. So it was like, well, that's yet to be determined. You're making well, the most of it. Yeah. It you know which I'm, got me to where I'm at now. Yeah. It kind of gave me that like, don't do this, don't do yeah, that. Yeah. But like, I took so much time to do that. I wish they would ask you what you wanted out of school when you started. Like what? They don't what care. Do to take away from it. Yeah, I would yeah. love to have learned financials. Yeah, taxes, like business yeah, taxes. management. Like if I wanted to start my own business, what does that look like? Mm -hmm. yeah. Like I want to be financially yeah. stable. I don't want to be like living in Street beast, a twenty-two-year-old's house. You know what I'm saying? Fucking twenty-three, but it's fine. Whatever. <laughs> it's okay. But dude, I tell you what, though, <laughs> the whole the whole moving out thing, because that's the way that's the way I was too. When I the day I turned eighteen. Hey, just for out. the record, he lived at my house first. Okay. Not okay, your so it's house. even. We lived together at a house that Whose we name rented. Was on? <laughs> yeah. Okay, whatever. Is dude. what happened. Basically. But who lived there first? His name was on the lease. I gave him cash to stay at the house, right? That's okay, what so, it was. Like, okay. Who was now crashing? This one, you know what I'm now this, one, <laughs> this one right here, though, this one's me. <laughs> yeah, this take one's that. Me, yeah. And he's in here. Yeah, yeah. That's fine. We, so, yeah, I, I fucking moved out the day I turned 18 and was just like, fuck this. I'm going to, like, It's do wild it. because, yeah, we met at Zoomies and, like, I'm sure his parents heard of me before we were friends. Like, yo, this fucking idiot just started and it's yeah. management. And then months later, hey, I'm moving out to live with that idiot. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He was probably talking now, mad shit. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. This, so Mark quit, man. Like, What's Fuck this shit. Here's the thing. It's here's the thing. It's like Cody was like super fucking like straight edge, right? Like where it's like there's not fucking parties at the house. There's yeah. like us and another roommate and it's like, all right, everybody goes dude, to bed at 9 o'clock. Dude, it's because I grew up in you a poor, poor lifestyle. So I was like, dude, I'm on my own. There's, I can't let anything fuck with this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that's, so and that's, so, you know, nothing that's a good mindset familiar. though to yeah. have. You know what I'm saying? And I was fucking, when I was in high school, I did a lot of dumb shit in my early years of high school. Like so my freshman and sophomore years, I was just like fucking an idiot. Going right? crazy. Just doing stupid shit. Oh, yeah. Right? So I got it all out pretty early. So yes. my senior year, I was like, you know, I'm good. You know, I need to fucking chill out, Tighten pay bills, and like, you know, just hang out for a little bit. So, but I honestly think it was it was difficult doing just you know being out of the house at that like that age. But I honestly think it's the best thing that ever happened to me. It's Same. just like taking a step and being like, "Fucking, I'm gonna do it." Being you know on your saying? own for a second so young to realize yeah, like the grasp of life. Like, also, shit, like, I do have I was, taxes yeah, to pay. Gotta, <laughs> yeah, you gotta like work and like, all right, dude, if you yeah. want to go eat, like, you if you want to have, have a house, you gotta pay your bills. Like, yeah, shit, yeah. you know. Also, yeah. I was a pretty good influence. 
You're welcome. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so yeah, we call I got you to cut that hair. I mean, we yeah. we haven't fixed it all the way, but we're yeah. we're getting closer. We're getting yeah, closer. Man. Yeah, man. But, uh, oh man. So all of you or both of y'all moved out super young, or like when you both uh, turned? Yeah, 18? I like can't. I kind of like did the runaway thing. I, I just did that. he did the driveway. Yeah. I like left. I I was going to a church that was not that far from my house, and then I went to church one day. But before I went, I loaded a lot of shit into my car, and I was, like, debating it at church, and then I was like, also, fuck this church. And I left <laughs> everything, and then I was, like, parking lot to parking lot, but I, I wasn't, I mean, you could say I was homeless, but I was living in my car. Mm-hmm. So it was like. Oh, yeah. I don't consider that homeless. Yeah, yeah, yeah lives it's in like, his car. I, like, I know people way See, off. He's got a van, though. He's like, yeah, even though he, he does, he hasn't touched his van maybe in, like, a month. He lives with, he right. stays in my room, so. But, like, it's I totally get it. Like, it, it could be way worse, so it's, like, it was just, like, a, it just couldn't stay where I was at kind of thing. Yeah, oh, I was, yeah. I moved out when I was 17. As soon as I graduated, I moved to Washington. I was on my own out there. Washington State? Mm-hmm. What the fuck? Yeah, he went from here to here, like. So, y'all were both in. That's where Brett lives. Robertson? That just left. Yeah, I heard that yeah. when he was leaving. I was like, hmm, <laughs> that was weird. Yeah. So yeah. I was just talking to him about shit that was going on up there. It was. It's funny because in Robert, like Robertsdale, is in literally like bum fuck nowhere, Alabama. Yeah. So like those towns you pass when you're going on the. I've been to Mobile. When like, you're getting to somewhere, you're like, what the fuck is this? Exactly. Place? Like, there's like yeah. a Pizza Hut, and then there's the school, and you're yeah. like, there's mother enough people to have people that school yeah, here, that, like. Yeah. And they're like, why That's are their they driving building? Yeah. And they all look the same, like. And we were so like, there's literally like. I didn't talk to anybody when I was. In it was a was it like, a big football school though. Oh, that's all all they have. That had. was like, like the sports. Big thing, right? Oh yeah, it was dude. It's like sucked. a Texas town almost. Shit shut oh, yeah. down when there's races like Loxley or Flemington. Varsity games. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, and we were like the outcasts. Like there was like the the country people. There was like the emo people. There was like there you know the R- hood R- people kids. and the art. And then there was like oh, the tough, four dude. the four of us that were like just all just yeah. like doing our own we type of thing. Off in the- side making fun of everybody every else. time and we weren't we were probably pretty good content to make fun of too so it, it kind of evened out everybody is in high school it doesn't matter how popular you think you are yeah bro yeah kind of everybody getting ribbed yeah, everybody, getting ribbed. <laughs> everybody. We're, yeah. we're getting them all but out, out of all people that that was in that little group he's like the only one that ever stuck you know we have like our, our old friend trey he was a little older but he kind of kept he life. does his own thing now yeah. and he kind of kept that same like you know, like different my mentality, which yeah. is totally like he does his the fuck out of his shit. But like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. He's like the only one that really stuck around. So, so it was s- weird. So you said you've been to you were in Washington for a little bit, and then you were doing work in Colorado for a while too, huh? Yeah, I've, I've went like three or four times. No. So you guys have had some time out of this area then. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, a little bit. Oh, and yeah. you and you're back. I just so moved you, back like a year mm-hmm. ago. Word. My family's here, so like whenever shit hits the fan or just whatever you know, life really hits. Like yeah. you just got to have yeah, that backup plan. That's so. what I came back for. Yeah, and it's it's kind of a blessing because he came back. Like we when he came back, uh, got the ball we we everything. literally he, like we were already like over the internet like t- tied in like that that's when he started making music and like we were like all right let's like may have a group like a yeah. real deal group because like I've had the group for like when I grad like graduated i started the group because i was like i just want to take a bunch of people that are on the same vibe from anywhere and just do it and you know we've went through so many people but he was once he get in it, got in it he never left like he was like i don't care what the fuck you're doing and he even got this fucking tattoo the other day and he was like what are you gonna do now kick me out so now he's like cemented in this shit and he's always been like well he can always put fuck on the top <laughs> <laughs> that's still kind of our that's a vibe yeah i like yeah, that right. <laughs> so uh because we're canceled uh like half the time for some some reason i don't know people just like to cancel us for whatever the fuck we do like i i believe there are like cancelable cancelable things i guess but it's like those things are so extreme like rape pedophile yeah shit like that but i feel like a lot of the times it's just like one you just haven't sat down and talked to the person that's that's always how it is so a lot of the times is you don't know where they're coming from Mm -hmm. and like you don't know where the people are that are canceling you are coming from other than that they're canceling you I, I always try to see the other point of view, so it's like I understand why you feel that way, but yeah. you got to understand where, where I'm coming from, yeah. like where we got going on, because it's like we're not those people. Like we're just doing what we do, the same thing we've done for fucking a year now, and it's never changed. And we still, have, even after they canceled us, like I started making shirts with cancel dub on it. I was like, fuck it, like cancel us, then I'm gonna cancel myself. That is like, the most like marketable thing is leaning into a thing. Oh yeah, because yeah. I it's not like it's not. 
true or valid but like you have like an idea of it and like you're not wrong for having an idea yeah. but it, like you're wrong for not hearing the uh, like the, every yeah. side of it if you see every side of it and you still feel that way fine that's, that's cool yeah, do yeah. you you know what i'm saying but like yeah but at least be, be open to fucking hear yeah what a lot of people are closed-minded when it comes to like certain yeah. things and it's just yeah, super fucked something up they don't like they're like fuck that like completely I'm for no reason yeah, yeah. I don't have anything to do with it. which i've un i've been the person where it's like fuck that and then I kind of see it. I'm like, it's still fuck that. But I see, like, you know, yeah, I yeah, see. Yeah. Or, like, maybe it's unfuck like, that. I mean, I or did it, but I don't also fuck that. Yeah, exactly. That. Yeah. 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 So, no. it, it was crazy. Oh, yeah. But, um, whenever he, he was in Washington for a long time, and, you know, we had this thing going, and he was like, I'm moving back, bro. You know, he had his, like, his, his court and shit. He finally got over it, and he was like, as soon as this gets done, I'm coming back. Like, I just need to settle down and get that my feet straight. <laughs> what? I was not finished with the court stuff. No, dude. but, but, well, period uh, <laughs> and then he was like you know we gotta just get on the ball so we had paid a deposit on an apartment me and mac lived together and that's when we started doing everything like we had all our posters on the wall shit green was going screen, crazy like, green screen and we had everybody of like who we were fucking with coming out and doing all this shit and that's like when it really when it kind of clicked and it was like yeah we could you know even if we don't live together or we're not together all the time yeah. like we have that chemistry and like that real deal chemistry it's not just an internet thing and it's not just a temporary type yeah. shit yeah if we never and if we never got evicted from our apartment oh my gosh we got evicted actually because uh some dude that i know back from like elementary school wanted to record and i like run a studio at sometimes mm -hmm. and he wanted to come record so he was like he's just mad weird like i never i never saw it at the time because i was like i knew the dude and i was like yeah that's just you know he's he was in the military he might just have some problems going on I thought he was just being quiet or yeah i thought he was just like that's how he was i don't judge people so like i i had a i had did, did a show with little boosie in mississippi so i leave and he had a show that night and as I get off the stage, like I look at the dude named Trey and I was like, uh, he had drove me out there and I was like, yo, do we have time to make it? And he was like, we have to leave right now. So we just packed up in the car and straight left the show. And as we left the show, he called me and dude had like tried to rob, rob us. And Mackie just beat the shit out of him and like kicked him down this, like all types of shit. And our landlord watched it. And she was like, y'all are violent. Y'all got to go. And I was like, bro was robbing us. Like he was dead ass, like in my house, taking my shit. Whoa. And so then we got kicked out I didn't even, like, and it was, I fight him because I didn't want him to have the call the cops and all that shit i was just like bro get on somewhere and then he just kept he came up the stairs and i did <laughs> he walked outside to smoke a cigarette and as soon as he saw mac he just took his shirt off he's like what's up and mac he was so confused he said bro oh, yeah. what, no, 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 what? No, no. i walk i walked to go get ready or whatever i changed my pants or some shit i didn't have my shoes on i was wearing like a thousand dollar shoes and uh i had a switch nintendo switch set up downstairs next to the tv i go back down there dude's gone uh other my other homies show up to take me to the show and i'm like hold up let me find let me find this dude real quick and then i look out the back door which is, has a it's a sliding door it has one of the bars on it that can lock mm -hmm. it from opening and he's outside on the other side of it i'm like how the fuck did he get out there and lock the door at the same time and he has his backpack on whatever and i look down to put my shoes on to go out there and i'm like no my shoes, shoes <laughs> so i go out there and i'm like what's up bro you ready to go or whatever or no, I didn't even look at the shoes until I came back inside. And I was like, you ready to go? And he was like, what's up? And I was like, what's up? Like, he was like, what's up? Like, squaring up. And I was like, what? what's going on? <laughs> and then he, like, opens the bag and dumps out. For himself. Dude even, snitched on himself. I didn't even accuse him of stealing. I didn't even know he was stealing from me. And then he dumps all the shit on the ground. I'm just like, what the fuck? <laughs> and you're like, wait, I wasn't even coming out here. Like, I thought you was, yeah, thought I, he was I cool, was bro. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he wanted to square up, and I was like, bro, I'm not going to fight you. And then, yeah, and then he had to call an Uber or whatever to go pick him up. And then the Uber pulled up, and we were outside talking shit to him down the stairs. And he comes up, the Uber, Uber driver's sitting right there watching all of this shit. And he comes up the stairs, and then, yeah, he's down at the bottom. Poor Uber man <laughs> saw, saw a shit show that day. He just saw this dude get beat down dude, the stairs. I can't even and imagine just, what Uber Oh, what? Especially out here? Bro, oh. this is a wild ass, a wild ass place, bro. I hit bro. a deer in an Uber one time, dude. My you Uber did driver it. Yeah, it's about a deer. To <laughs> like, literally dry, taking us home. We were fucking hammered coming home from, like, Seville or something. Hit a deer on the way home. How'd that go? Did you pull it over? Oh, yeah. I mean, the deer fucked his car up hard, oh, dude. Shit. Yeah, we had to get another Uber to come pick us up. Yeah, the deer was, was so bad, bro. The deer was totally in, in the middle of the street. Like, oh, what's no. up, bro? 
No, you we tipped him. We, What's he up, canceled, man? He yeah, canceled. The deer, oh, the deer, deer fucking was gone. The deer wasn't dead. Deer was like they never like, die, bro. Eat. It's so not. Like, yeah, they're insane. They're invincible. I mean, bro. I'm sure he's probably it's dead like now. It's like they're attacking yeah. each but, other out there, getting conditioned for cars. Bro. Yeah, it like he <laughs> was right, in a Kia Soul. Yeah, that Kia Soul got wrecked. I oh, mean, I remember we paid him a bunch. Of, we like gave him a bunch of cash because we felt bad. He was like, "Oh, dude, insurance is gonna pay for it." We're like, we're all like, "Hey, we're like, boo, feel bad, dude." And, like giving him cash. Yo, like I don't think the deer had insurance. Yeah, we're gone. We're paying for the deer's insurance. Yeah, dude. Yeah, Ubers are wild out here. Did you have to yeah. pay for the next Uber? No. Oh. No. <laughs> he sounds pretty shit human, though. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. It's a good time. Damn, dude. Yeah. Well, is there anything coming up that you want to shout out before we get out of here? Uh, yeah, we have a, a album release party on the 13th, uh, the day after the album at Easy Going. And then I have a show at Vinyl on the 19th, the weekend oh, after that. So that's August or September? August, yeah. August 13th and then August 19th. Okay. So... Oh yeah, and I this will come out. What is? It'll be on the eleventh. The eleventh, yeah. So, so like right the day then. before, perfect. Yeah, so fucking yeah. Ooh, day before the album. Yo, shout Finger out! That you shit got out, this shit dude. planned, dog. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying, out. man. It's no, we organized it. I just yeah. didn't remember like how like spot on it was gonna be. Yeah, Damn, that's awesome. fucking dope, dude. And the name oh, yeah. of the album? A uh, repeat. Repeat. Yeah, I'm going back and trying to. I'm like, I feel like I'm starting over, but like with a whole new vibe. So I'm repeating myself type thing i don't know the makes sense in my head is a collab album oh yeah me and mac have a uh, album coming out next too and shout out i think 40 wants to drop a song at the end of this month as well so there's a bunch of shit oh, yeah. between three of us bro it's like hard to stop <laughs> it's yeah, always dude. so much that's awesome though, man. that's awesome to a hear constant, bro. yeah constant stuff coming out for mm-hmm. people to get into before yeah, we get so out of here built up. y'all got socials and stuff you want to shout out yeah oh yeah instagram sneaky la flame uh that's it. Just look me up, Stinky Pete, on anything else. Uh, that's, yeah, that, if it's not Toy Story, it's me. So, Mackie Main, M A C K E M A N E on Instagram. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Camera also, guy got a social. Also, Mackie. Uh, Gavin you're not well, the camera, not in the camera, it's dude. It's an audio thing. <laughs> he's, uh, got, <laughs> he's looking at the camera. He's like, he's like, uh, hi, yeah, you guys in there? The ca- camera guy over here, Gavino Prime, Gavin uh, yeah, Turbeville. At, on Instagram, he uh he be running the shit. You know what I'm saying? When yeah. when we're too fucked up to to see it, he makes sure it's seen. So oh, yeah. that's that's where yeah, we are. He at. sees behind the scenes. Oh All yeah. Right, let's not get into uh, Yeah, we can't do that again. <laughs> All right. A shout out to Forty, bro. Forty couldn't be here. Love you, Forty. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Shout out. Go ahead. Shout out Forty Four J. Before we get up out of here, we do want to give a couple shout outs. Uh, first off, we want to shout out to uh, Shauncee over at Sacred Grounds. If you guys are looking at getting any ink done, if you're like, damn, I need some shit on my skin, holler at the boy Shauncee at Sacred Grounds. Yeah. Bunch of crazy local artists down there, always putting in work and at the cusp of all the new shit going on. So y'all go take it, take a look at them. And if you need any work done, like I said, Shauncee Fury at uh, Sacred Grounds is the homie. Absolutely. Shout yeah. out to Shauncee, um, bro. If you need anything recorded for the rest of your life, yep. Sean Mullins, my guy at Pensacola Vibes. He also does uh, Panhandle Springs. Springs. Um, so he's 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 probably most known for like all the Blue Angel videos everybody sees. Um, he gets all the angles. He's got drones. He can shoot weddings, events. Like he's got the keys to the city, pretty much. Oh, shit. Yeah, I shit mean, on. he's on the board of some Everything, important shit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Things. Um, so. but look out to him if you guys want some cutting edge, uh, videography work done, you know? I mean, he's doing crazy things. He works with our buddy, uh, Rusty at a rustic spoon, mm-hmm. which is like mm-hmm. another groundbreaking food truck in the local area. Putting in work. Absolutely slappers. Emerald uh, Republic Brewing Company. Always yeah. out front. The menu is just. I mean, it's on fire all the time. It's literally, yeah, always on fire and it's changing all the time too. Yeah. So it's like, you know, oh, shit. It up. So it's like, you know, if if you don't fancy something one Dude, they, week, give it two weeks, they're going to have all new bangers. They out. literally have a killer menu. And that means yeah. on Sundays they do a menu that is based off of killers. Yep. So they have like a Jeffrey Dahmer burger. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, they have a fucking... Oh, yeah, I've heard uh, of that place. Yeah. Yeah, what... It, I'm like blanking. They have like a killers. Bundy, bur- they have a like Bundy a burger. A Bundy burger. There's they like so like many fucking things. They did a, a Wings uh, Sunday or yeah. Saturday, I think, maybe. Yeah. Um, what and is then, it called? What is the brunch called? Killer Brunch. Is that what it is? It literally is called Killer Brunch. brunch. Um, But, dude, they fucking have so many (laughs) cool ideas. They have so many unique – like, even when they give you the burger, they have this one that's, like, the burger itself is black. Mm -hmm. 
You know, know more about that. Like yeah, the bun the, or the burger? Yeah, it's like a black garlic Oh, bun. sorry. I said yeah, burger. Yeah, but the bun what? itself is yeah. solid black. Like, yeah, it looks do. like charcoal. Yeah. But it tastes delicious. Yeah. It's crazy. It sounds busting and disgusting like at the same time. Yeah. So, like, it's a hitter, though. But that's it? It's a hitter. No, it's cool. It's a hitter. It's sounds... fucking amazing shit. Uh, um, next up, we want to shout out uh, Kazushi Club, Pensacola. So, that will be... So, the seminar will be tomorrow. Yes, the seminar. August 12th. August twelfth. Yeah. Brandon McCaffrin, <laughs> fucking B Mac is in town. Decatur gonna... Dust is fucking dude. Fucking Uncle B <laughs> Mac is B-Mac. coming down to defend his his uh yep stance against Dust, dude. Yeah, bro. So what coming to Kazushi Club uh in Pensacola to do a wicked seminar. I'm yes. sure everybody has probably seen either me repost this stuff or yep. somebody repost this and stuff. And then maybe Killer. we have something special planned. Right. I don't know. Maybe right. y'all find you out. I don't know. Out. And then the day after that, you got August 13th, Kazushi Club, King of the Coast. You. Anybody can represent. 170 up, 170 and down. Any weight class. Or, I mean, you any uh, belt class. Um, they also do a female 130 and up and 130 and down. Yep. You, you buy in. Winner takes all. So 100 bucks to buy in. 23 people show up. You go home with 2300 bucks if you're that good. Yep. So it pays to come to these events. If you can't make it in town and you have to go out of town for whatever reason, you're just not legally allowed in Florida on that day. There is a yeah. competition in Pascagoula, Mississippi on August 13th, and that's going to be the South- Southeastern Submission Classic. Trey Alador, Team Remedy, they hold that event gonna be a banger unfortunately i can't make it due to work new job yeah you know i'm a grown-ass man gotta gotta pay them bills to daddy you know what i'm saying (laughs) yeah all right (laughs) hey and shout out to twisted t man i need my sponsorship man i've been going too hard in this shit bro i need this i need this i'm trying so hard he had five before we started i'm yeah i'm and i don't know where he doesn't pee i don't know what he's doing no i'm just i'm vibing i gotta you know i got the show set mindset you know what i'm saying what were those two dudes instagram the two sean's that you said Sean, Sean Mullins. Mullins. It's Pensacola Vibes. Yeah. It's like his big page. And, and then, then Sean, Sean C? C. Fury. Sean C is spelled like that. S-H-A-U-N-C-E-Y. Oh, but but it's yeah. like at Sean C. I don't know yeah. how he got that. That's, That's a crazy. tight ass handle. <laughs> I like at that. Sean C. Um, but like I heard y'all got evicted or whatever. But if you guys are looking for a place, which yeah. I mean, I'm sure you figured it out now. But if you look for a more in- look at permanent. Yeah, more permanent. Yeah, permanent spot. <laughs> we got a homie. <laughs> yeah, we got a homie, Joshua George. He is a real estate agent in the local area, and he will do whatever it takes to get you in a place or at least give you the information, what you need to know, so you know where to go moving forward or what you can do moving forward. Also. <laughs> <laughs> also, your boy. Yeah, yeah. Your boy also sells houses. Oh, word? You're a real yeah. estate? Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. It's a good hustle to get into. Yeah, man. It's, it's the shit, yeah. dude. I love it to death. It's been awesome. It's just tough. So, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So, if you guys are looking, anybody listening, if you're yeah. looking for, like, you need to get out of a place you're at or you need to get or into a place. Help, yeah, man. and you just need to get some, into a place. Yeah, need some info on what I can do to get pre- get prepared for, like, down the road, you know? Yeah. Like, if you're not looking to do something, like, next week, but you're like, all right, I want to buy a house in the next three years, fucking give him a call. You. Give me a call. Yeah, like, absolutely. Those two people are going to be fucking amazing, like... He's brand new into it, but he is so like he dives his brain into this shit. Like yeah. he spends all day, every day, like to a fault at it. So it's like if he doesn't have the answer, he knows how to get it, and he'll be and he's super quick with it. So he's like right there with your information cool. if you need it. Um, a lifestyle experiment. Rich Klemensky, I think that's how you say his last name. He just took over the Wednesday teaching nogi, uh, beginner and expert, and Foley at Panacea. Uh, martial arts and he runs a lifestyle experiment so it's like a mix of two of our sponsors at the same location and it's like a perfect marriage like he's so good at teaching he just got his purple purple belt belt. i just did i sell that online and i was like fuck how did i not get that congratulations rich yeah shout out to boy richie rich yeah Best abs in the game for no yeah, reason. Like best fucking doesn't deserve the them, too, and I'll bro. I'll I'll say that till I die. Like yeah. doesn't need those abs for no reason. Yeah. <laughs> He's best, got. I mean, best abs in the game and best fucking drip swag. In the game, just too. drip, oh, dude. Shit. Like straight up. His shit is crazy. This um, is one of their belts that they did. 
Yeah, this is like and a, he's constantly coming out with new stuff, stuff with so the, like be on the lookout so for that. The but if yeah, you are yeah. over there, you want to learn stuff from him. Joke. It's gonna be at Panacea and Foley. Um, big yeah. location. I think their match just came in, so they're able to double their size yeah. in the new gym. The gym's huge. It's fucking gorgeous too, yeah. and some of the best teachers in the area. You got Griffin Fisk, Tony Rayborn, Rich, last Sh- name unknown, <laughs> unknown. Yeah, but uh, check out all them people, bro. Yeah. Um, and thank you to all of those people as well. Yeah, because yeah, you, you guys, guys are tight this, as fuck. Yeah, you guys, you guys make, make, make all this shit possible so, for yeah. sure, dude. Well, boys, thank you guys for coming and hanging out, man. For yeah, real, of course. We appreciate so it. So glad to be here. This is tight as fuck. Glad Shout out to the city, city a little bit. Yeah, dude. I thought it was gonna be a little anxious, but uh, I sat down and it was. Uh, they were cool. Twisty T, Shout out Twisty. Hell yeah! Well, good shit. Thank you guys again. We appreciate it. Of course. All right. Well, thank you guys for hey, watching. Before we get out of here, though, yeah, just just like a playback or a callback, as they say in the industry, yeah. take a picture of that can because I bet you that title changes. So next uh, time we come so... on, if the shit is different than that, we'll be able to talk about that and be like, "Yo, it's what the fuck happened to the twisted no tea e. can?" Yeah. yeah. All right. All right. Well, thank <laughs> you guys for watching. Thank you guys for listening. We're getting the fuck up out of here. We love you. Yee hoo! Yee hoo! Got a peanut.